Doctor Who, the Space Pirates. This story only exists in audio except for episode two. Episode one, Beacon Alpha One Airlock. Far out in space hangs a cement segmented structure built solely to receive and transmit data across the spaceways. A black, dark-shaped craft approaches it and docks. Three men carrying boxes of equipment in, into the beacon. Outside the beacon, two spacewalkers attach metal char- metallic charges in its hull and finally a rocket its propulsion unit. Craven. Devilish, 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 thin man. We're nearly finished, Craven. About time, devilish. My men are just coming. We detonate by radio beam. Craven, right, hurry up. All the men return to the ship. It undocks and moves away. Shortly afterwards, a radio signal is sent and the beacon Alpha 1 goes kaboom. V ship flight deck. Another ship is travelling through space. This one is thin and wide. The military signa V four one dash LO The flight deck is split into an upper command bridge with silver haired General Hermek in charge and lower technical area. Hermek Everything all right, Pen? Pen fine, sir. Hermek fine Wayne American You sent for me, sir? Hermek Oh yes, Ian, sit down, Wayne thank you. Hermek, any information on that beacon signal yet? Wayne, no, sir. There'd been no response to the secretary emergency circuits either. Hermek, no, there wouldn't be. Wayne, sir? Hermek, what do you think has happened to that beacon? Wayne, well, it's difficult to say, sir. It could be a failure in the solar energy store. Hermek, no, the emergency power would operate with get a mayday signal. Wayne, well, oh, you don't think this is mechanical failure, sir? Hermek, no, I don't. Your beacons are practically foolproof. Wayne, you got any ideas? Hermek, yes, I have. I must, I, and I'm, I must, I must be right, Agonite. These beacons are absolutely, entirely constructed of Agonite. Wayne, of course, sir. What are you doing to go, doing about it, Hermek? Attention non personnel, this is General Hermek. Your V ship is now fifty days and many billions of miles out from Earth, renting the full court sector of our galaxy. In this sector, for some for some time now, Earth government has been aware that the highly oh, that a highly organized gang of criminals have been roaming the spaceways, are preying upon the defenseless cargo ships. The main target of these criminals is Agonite. The most valuable material known to man, and so far only found on the planets of the full sector, a government space beacon marking the approaches of the planet New Saram has ceased transmitting its navigation signal. The beacons, are, as you know, are constructed vaganite. It's my belief that criminals are attacking the government navigation beacons and plundering the vaganite. There can be no other explanation for its failure. This being the case, I've decided to abandon our present mission and investigate the missing beacon in the new Saram sector. I want all section commanders on the bridge out twenty hundred hours sector for solar time. Resume normal duties until then. Wayne, there are eighteen space beacons quite scattered across the sector, sir. Hamex seventeen AM until that one at, at New Saram is replaced. Well, Wayne? Seventeen, and they're millions of miles apart. So how can we sure which one the pirates are likely to attack next? Hermit, we can't. Wayne, well, exactly. Those are seventeen to one against us being in the right place at the right time. Hermit, ah, with this, with our speed, I think we can cut those odds to a bit. Now there are four beacons in the Perlini solar system here. That that is where we'll start our patrol. Beacon Alpha Seven. There is a dart-shaped craft docked at its beacon now. It's the same routine as Alpha as Al- as Al- 1. Craven, come on, speed it up, devilish. Craven, I don't like this. Craven, nobody asked you, asking you to like it. Get those scissors tra- charges laid into position, devilish. If we attack any more beacons, we'll have the whole of this stellar space, co- 
Scott's in his sector. Craven looked at, at, at this moment, the stage corpse of an iron forward full of trouble. Bush foil wars in three different sectors. I mean, in Benton, there's never been a better time for getting rich, devilish, right lads. Well, they are for all, they for charges along the main axis. But you attach both still charges around the hole, okay? Craven, you're a good engineer, devilish. Just do your job and leave the space corpse to me, eh? Huh? Devilish, okay. I worked ten years for the Earth government. Craven, you could, could have stayed with them. They would have given you a pension. Devilish, attacking government property is my one crime. They make they make sure never pays. Craven, sixteen hundred tons of pure agonite pays all right. Devilish, to me this is like a floating bank. The charges are laid. V ship flight deck. Wayne, what range are the forward scanners set for? Pen, pen, fifteen hundred, sir. Wayne, well we set them at two thousand, right? Pen, very good, sir. Wayne, and keep a sharp eye out on the screen. There are lots of rogue asteroids in the primary system. Hermic, oh, and one more thing. Make sure the minnow ships are fully fueled and put the det- detonation heads on their missiles. Report back as soon as that is done. Wayne, we're approaching the primary system now, sir. We made scanner with contact with four beacons. They're functioning normally. Hermic, oh, good. What is now this planet? Tiatar here is the main one in the system. We are orbit here for a few weeks and see what happens. Wayne, so that's Tar, huh? Hermac, you heard of it? Wayne, yeah, it's the headquarters of the Insigli Mining Corporation, most productive plant, planet in the entire square galaxy. Hermac, Melane Insigli has built quite a place there, which is one reason for basing ourselves in the primary system. Wayne, why is that? Why is that? That's the reason, sir. Hermic, well, if we're not, if we're not out here long, he and the men will need somewhere to rest and rec- recreation. Deep space sickness is one thing we can't chance. Pen, more, where's your Wayne? Wayne, what is it, Pen? Pen, I've got a contact, sir. A beacon now for seven. Wayne, well, hold on to it. Any identification? Pen, no, sir. Too far away, Hermic. Ah, it's a spaceship, right enough. Check, flight. Central flight information, Ian, and see if anyone sh- should be out there. Wayne, right, sir, Hermac. Change course for Beacon Alpha 7 Bridge to Parado Room. I want 10 seconds, main boost. Wayne, according to flight information, sir, there would be no, there should be no ships in the area in the next 17 days, Hermac. Well, whoever they are, they're not yet reported to central flight information. Wayne, do you think it's the pirates? Hermit, yes, it could be. Though some of those commercial flights don't always try to port their whereabouts for the reasons of their own. Anyway, we should know so soon. We should still know, soon know. Meanwhile, the pirate ships and docks from Alpha 7. Pen, she's backing off, sir. Hermit, keep track of her. Pen, she's moving quite fast, sir. Wayne, Got a good turn of speed for com- 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 commercial. Hermic, is, it, is Beacon Alpha 7 still functioning? Wayne, yes, sir. Very strong signal. Hermic, well, that's something. Wayne, maybe they're just picking up emergency supplies, sir. Some of these beacons do carry reserve medical and oxygen equipment. Pen, sir. I've got another signal coming in now. It's UF, UHF. Wayne, UHF. That's reserved for demolition teams. Hermic, well, put it on radio. Pen, yes, sir. Pen, the bacon, Alpha 7 explodes. Pen, eh? Pen, Alpha 7 broken up, sir. Hermic, oh, right, under our noses, main boost. Pen, loss of bacon, sir. No more signal. Wayne, no. It, it won't be. Pos- probably a dozen separate bits by now. Hermic, keep full contact with the pirate ship. Pen, yes, sir. Hermic, at least we can be sure they didn't, they don't get away. Ian, give me a projected arrival time. Wait in three hours, sir. Maybe I can get a vigil on the main scanner. A pirate ship appears on the view screen, towing beacon dead breeze. Wayne, there she is, sir. And that's what's, and that's what's left the beacon, Hermic. We've got them cold, Ian. We're, 
We enter them long before they get rid of the, that savage scrap. Scrap, salvage scrap, scrap. Wayne, yeah, providing she doesn't see us approaching, sir. Hammock, they don't, don't know. Pen, that ship looks fast. Hammock, they don't know we're in the same area. What's wrong with the scanner? Wayne, seem to be losing visual contact, sir. Pen, the ship's moving away, sir. Hammock, what? Pen, just started to go. Beacon debris going with her. Hammock, hold that contact, Pen. Pen is no good, sir. She's going too fast. Hammock, they must have, they must have twice our speed. Wayne, maybe the minnows could hold her. Hermit, no, not at this distance. They haven't, they haven't the fuel. Pen lost contact, sir. Hermit, oh, the whole, hold the same course. Pen, yes, sir. Hem, Hermit, keep it searching. Wayne, it must be atta- have attached rocket units to the beacon, sir. The way they moved off. Hermit, yes. They're all, they're very well organized. They cut the beacon to several manageable pieces by means of scissor charges. They cut the bits off. To some, to some prearranged collection point. Very clever, Wayne, and quick. Cuts down the time they risk. They risk, and they just burn. They just burn out of agronite out of their ledger. Hamek, yes, we shall have to rethink our tactics. We shall never catch them by normal pay, patrol methods. Wayne, what else can we do, sir? Hamek, where in the bacon's? Wayne, man them. Hermit, it's, a, it's the only answer. We should drop small parties, four or five men, on each beacon and give them rations and supplies for two months. Well, all these Mark, these Mark five beacons are designed as emergency survival centers. Wayne, yes, sir. But I don't think anyone has ever tried living on them. Some of these beacons are pretty primitive, Hermit. I'm not interested in men's comforts, Major. Set course for the nearest beacon. Wayne, yes, sir. Beacon Alpha 4, a lieutenant and four armed guards enter the beacon and survival, with survival packs. Wayne Fuller's Wayne, where's your radio, lieutenant? It's beamed automatically to main control. All you have to do in the event of trouble is press the button right. Sobere, dark, don't worry, I'll press it. Wayne, remember your main job here is to give us the earliest possible warning in the event of the pirate ship approaching, right? Sober. And after that, we fight them. Wayne, after that, I think well, you'll have to be, have to. Joe, good luck. Sober. Thank you. Wayne, see you later about, in about six weeks. Sober, I hope. V ship flight deck. Hermec, set the course for Alpha 9. Pen, very good, sir. Wayne, I told Lieutenant Sober to be back in about six weeks, sir. Hermec, oh, much earlier if the pirates raid Alpha 4. Yes, but how's we're on the picket? Wayne, oh, it's pretty high, sir, I think. They're hoping for the chance of a party. Hermec, they understand. They have, a sh- they have to shoot on sight. Wayne, yes, sir, I told him. No, nobody's poking their nose aboard. No, 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 any, no, anybody poking their nose aboard Alpha 4 find plenty of trouble waiting for him. Beacon Alpha 4. And with these words, the TARDIS materialises in a beacon computer bay. The soldiers are on level below, sober. And now we're going to be, and we're, we're going to be here for about six weeks. Settle down. Keep your eyes open. Take care about it. Take care about it. God, sir. Sober, what? What are you doing here? Why aren't you in an observation tower? God, there's something in the computer base, sir. Sober, something? Well, what do you mean by that? God, I heard something in there. Noise, sir. Noise. Sober, all right. We'd better check it out. Come on. Beacon Alpha 4, computer bay. Doctor, oh dear. Zay, what's wrong, Doctor? Well, I don't think we're quite where I expected. Never mind. This looks very interesting, Jamie. Interesting? A piece of old machinery? Doctor, yes, I've never seen a computer quite like this before, Jamie. Zoe, it looks like some sort of control room. Doctor, yes, but what does it control? So, J- Jamie, yeah, we think we're, 
Uh, well, I think we'd better get out of here before somebody catches us. It's a very good idea. There's a door here. Jamie, no, Zoe. I meant the TARDIS. Dr. Jamie, stop worrying. There's obviously nobody here. Jamie, well, how do you know that? Doctor, well, this machine is programmed to operate itself. So, yes. But what does it, what does it do? Doctor, well, I'm not sure, Zoe. But I think we're on a main spacecraft in a made it fixed orbit. We're far too away from anyone to be a weather satellite. Let's see what clues we can find through that there. Here, call it, shall we? Doctor, what's that? Doctor, what? A floor panel list and so bad start shooting at the doctor. Zoe and Jamie run out of the room. Beacon Alpha 4 companion way. Zoe, Jamie, everybody, nobody here. Zoe, now what are we going to do? The TARDIS is there. Doctor, there's only one thing we can do. Zoe, what? Doctor, run. Jamie, well, maybe next time. Listen to me, Zoe. Is it, is it, is it next time? Beacon Alpha 4, Computer Bay. Sober, all right. There are only three of them. They can't get away. Hunt them down and don't forget to, sh- to kill. Beacon Alpha 4, oh, look, the pirates have arrived. Kevin. For Alpha 4, another present from the planet's taxpayers. Devilish. Some b- procedure at last, as last time. Same procedure as last time, Kevin. Yes, devilish. But now you had a little. You've had a little practice. Get your scissor charges laid a bit quicker, huh? Energy weapons fire, devilish. Hey, what's that, Craven? They were blaster guns, Craven. Get the crew in there at the double. Beacon Alpha Four. Our heroes run along companion ways, sealing the hatches behind them. Zoe, are you, Jamie, are you all right, Zoe? Zoe, yes, I think so, Doctor. That should hold them for a little while. Zoe, but why are they trying to kill us? We haven't done anything. Jamie, no. Doctor, I don't know what we... But we were certainly not stopping to find out. Jamie, what's that? Look, a welding torch is cutting from the hatch. Doctor, come on, let's find somewhere else to hide. They go further on and secure another hatch. Jamie, Jamie, Doctor, there's no way out of here. Doctor, what? Jamie, look. Zoe, oh, Doctor, what can we do? Doctor, well, I don't know. We go down there, we bump straight into them. I'm afraid we're trapped. So the men have cut through the first hatch. So, but all the way, all the way, this way. A pirate shoot the soldiers in the back. So is shot. He falls while pressing the call button on his radio. Free ship flight deck. Pen. 30 minutes from Beacon Alpha 3, sir. Hermec. Right. Warn the picket to stand by on sea deck. Ian. Warren. Yes, sir. Pen. Emergency from Beacon Alpha 4, sir. Wayne. Sob has been attacked. Hermec. You set course for Alpha 4. Try and get a vigil on scanner, Ian. Pen. Of course, sir. Hermec. Bridge to powerhouse. I want main boost for the long as you can hold it without vaporizing the motors. Beacon four, companionway, Craven. This is this one's still alive, devilish. So the space courts were too busy to bother about us, huh? Craven, shut up. I'm thinking, devilish. There's no time for thinking. We've got to get out of here. Craven, four space guards and an officer. What are they doing here? Devish, they must be, they, mem- they may, must be a cruiser in the area. Craven, not been big enough crew to defend the bacon, but they must have been put on board for a reason. Craven sees a box lying beside Sober. Craven, what's this? Devish, it looks like a fixed beam transmitter. Why would that, why, well, why, that's it. Well, they'll be on their way back here by now, Craven. Then you're going, Better get moving, devilish. Well, you didn't. You don't still want the beacon cutting up, Craven? What? That's what we came here to do, devilish. Think about it, Craven. Don't waste time. Go with it. Craven shoots the transmitter. V 
Three ship flights deck, Wayne. Can you? There could be a radio packed up, sir. Hammock. Yes, give me a projected arrival time. Wayne, two hours, twenty minutes. Hermack, I should have left, left a stronger picket. Wayne, oh, no, no, sir. We could, we haven't the manpower besides sober. Knew he would only ho- hope to delay things. Hermack, I'm not, I am going to get that gang a murdering feast. I have to spend the last ten years out here. Beacon Alpha for companion way. For Beacon for Alpha for companion way. Sober wakes Craven. Yes, Lieutenant. You're the last of the toy soldiers, Sober. Shot in the back. Craven, you mean we're, you mean we're disqualified? You don't want to play any more? Sober, you can laugh now, but you won't get away with it. Craven, who's going to stop me, Lieutenant? Say over, Sober, how did you get those decoys aboard? Craven, decoys? Sober, those three that led us into the, your ambush. Craven, confusion. Conclusion, Lieutenant, or, or stalling for time. Sober, you know what, who I'm talking about. It ran off into the Af companionship. Craven, none of my men down here. Must be with some of yours, Sober, no, sure. We're having a private testing session for lo- with loaded thermite guns. Craven, we, he, we can hear firing in the airlock. You mean, you mean there really is someone else out in there? Sober, I thought you planted them here, there. Craven, whoever they are, we've got no time to bother with them now. Devish, I laid the charges, just fixing the rockets. Craven, good. If he can walk, get him out of here. If he can't, leave him. Craven shoots and the lock, the lock of the latch. Devish, what are you doing? Craven, just stealing a coffee and go, Devilish. Beacon Alpha 4 Compartment On the other side of the hatch, Jamie, I wish I could hear what they're saying. Zoe, I think you're really trying to burn for it. Doctor, just a minute, I think they've gone away. Zoe, I don't understand. Why don't they come in here after us, Jamie? Aye, they must have known we were trapped. Why not finish us off, Doctor? They don't seem very friendly, did they? Ah, Jamie, what's the matter? Doctor, well, it's hot. You try. Jamie, no, no, thank you. Sorry, I told you, you're turning, trying to burn through it. Jamie, well, why aren't, haven't they? They hear a clang. Zoe, what's that? Another clang. Doctor, there's something moving out there. So it sounds as if someone's on, somebody's on the hull. Parts are fasting their charges and propulsion units. Jamie, what are they doing? Doctor, I don't know, Jimmy. Perhaps they're cleaning the windows. Jimmy, huh? Ah. Oh. Jimmy, look. Why don't we sneak back to the TARDIS and get out of here? Jimmy, I. Well, we still have got a chance, Doctor. Sensible idea, Zoe. Is sure there's nobody out there? Zoe, I haven't heard anybody for ages. Come on. Doctor, no, her mind out. It's hot. Zoe, well, it's not hot anymore. Doctor? What? Zoe, I can't unlock it. Jamie, let me do it, Zoe. You have to eat more porridge, Dr. Jamie. I don't think it's any use. You know what I think they've done? Dr. what? They've welded it at the lock. We're prisoners. The pirate ship leaves the beacon. V ship, ship flight deck. Pen, they're leaving beacon Alpha 4, sir. Wayne, it's exactly what happened before. Hammock, what's your arrival time, Pen? Still 90 minutes to go, sir. How, how Mac? We're going to be too late again. Wayne, the bacon should blow up any second now. Kaboom, the doctor, Zoe, and Z- Jamie and Zoe sent flying across the sealed compartment. 